Hello folks! In this video we're going to look at making 5 loop and 7 loop finger loop braids. This video is a quick addition to my video on the 3 loop finger loop braids. If you haven't seen that one yet, I'll pop a card up in the top there, please watch that one first because alongside the simple three loop technique, it also contains a lot of hints and tips that are applicable to any kind of finger loop braiding, including how to make it easier when you're working with very long loops. So if you've got the hang of three loops and now you're ready for five and seven, let's go take a look. Okay folks, for the five strand version of this braid, you're gonna start off with your loops, three on your left hand, two on your right with your index finger free. It's very, very similar to the first technique I've showed you. However, there are a few more threads to manipulate, <laughs> which makes it a little bit trickier. So you're going to take your index finger and go down and through your first loop, down and through your second loop, hook that third one through and pull apart. Then when you come back to the middle, first of all you flip your index finger to your middle finger, and then same again with that one to set up for the other side. We go through, down and through, down and through, hook and pull apart. Swap fingers like that. One, two, three, pull apart. One, two, three, through, hook and apart. And that literally is all there is to it. it. Really is just a matter of making sure that you're going down through each loop in the same way each time, so don't accidentally go up this way. Straight through the middle, straight through the middle, grab it, pull apart, reset your fingers. And that's your five strand version. And here is the finished five loop braid. It's a little bit denser than the three loop version. And if you're using the same weight of thread, it will come out a little bit thicker as well. Okay, so we're all set up now, ready to make a seven loop braid. Now, with this one, the wool actually here is wool I dyed myself. I really like it. Some of these are with walnuts from my garden and some assorted foliage that was kind of a strange soup, which I'll try and find a picture of because it looked really cool. Anyway, so now we're going to do the seven loop version. And the technique is exactly the same. Again, it's just a matter of controlling all of these fingers. So, again, just as before, you can go through, down and through, down and through, and then hook our last thread. Bring it to that side and pull it all outwards to tighten it. Okay, now here's the tricky bit. Moving all of these loops down along your fingers. You start by hooking the outside loop with your little finger, then with your ring finger, which is now free, you need to hook the next loop along, which is currently on your middle finger. Then finally, free up your index finger. This one's easier. Then continue your braid. And repeat with the right hand. You can see how much easier it is for me with my right hand. My left hand is entirely uncooperative in this situation. Go on, little hand, you can do it! Yay! <laughs> this does get a lot easier with practice. It's really, really awkward at first, but just keep trying to make the movements and they will come. I have some weakness in that part of my hand, which makes it look even more difficult, but actually, once you've got the hang of it, it isn't, and you will. Get the hang of it, that is. Keep going in this fashion, and very soon, you will have... A lovely seven strand braid. Woohoo! This is what the braid looks like when it's finished. It's even denser than the five loop version and if made with chunkier yarn would be thicker again. 
you can see the two together here. The brown and yellow seven loop braid is actually made with much thinner wool, so it looks a bit skinnier here than the five loop version. But you can see how much denser the pattern is. Both five and seven loop versions were identified from her Yovsness. So here for comparison, we've got the three loop version that I showed you in the first video. We've got two examples of the five loop here, and then the seven loop at the end there. I think on balance, the five loop is my favorite because it's a nice balance between not being too tricky a technique, being fairly quick to work up and being a nice chunky dense braid. You'll notice I tend to always go for two colors and when I start my braid, I alternate them exactly. And that's the pattern I prefer. However, if you look at this one in the middle there, that chunky brown and white one, if you start with all of your colors to one side and then the other colors on the other side, that's the sort of pattern you get and you can play around and experiment with this to your heart's desire. And that's all folks, I hope that was helpful. And if you've got any questions about this video or the basic finger loop braiding video, which I put a card up for at the beginning, please do pop a message down in the comments or come and find me on Facebook. Over there you'll get more updates about things I'm up to and have some more general Viking Age loveliness. Have a fabulous day everybody and I will see you soon. Happy braiding. Bye.